so hello guys welcome back again in technomec education today i will show you a steady state thermal analysis and structural analysis and how to find fatigue life of disc brake in workbench in a single tutorial i will show all of this okay so before starting the video do subscribe my channel and must share with your friends so first of all you have to open std state thermal then here same process first you have to select engineering data actually uh, in ansys 15 version you have to select all these things before starting the analysis but in higher version like uh, 18 or 19 um, there is no need to select all these things so just uh, click on engineering data general materials and here I am selecting aluminium alloy so now again go to project and uh, select your geometry So as you can see here, your model has been imported. So first things, first thing is you have to select your assignment, select your material, then go to mesh and here the same step you have to follow because in previous video I think you have already know. So go to sizing No generate mesh So after meshing here in a steady state thermal you have to we have to add temperature distributions and convection values so first of all go to analysis setting and here you can see you can see number of steps and current step number so here it, uh, this is the default uh, uh, setting means uh, here one number of steps is one so here we can see we can add how many number of steps we want and how many uh, step number we want so I'm adding here five step size so here now here tabular data you can see here tabular data it will automatically added five so five number of steps we have to find okay and here current step number step number also uh, this is default one so uh, according to our requirement we can add okay so only the number of steps uh, I'm adding here. So after that, first of all, we have to add temperature distributions. So temperature where we have to apply the temperature. So uh, due to friction, when we are applying braking system in our vehicle, so automatically due to friction, the temperature will be generated. Okay. So now here, uh, this location, I'm going to apply temperature. So select the surface and click apply and give the value so i'm giving 80 degree c the temperature maximum temperature uh, generated temperature is 80 degree c okay <coughs> so now click enter and now after that we have to apply convection values so now here convection values means how how the uh, temperature whatever the temperature or uh, due to friction is generated so that temperature value that heat should be dissipated okay so in convection we have to apply uh, at which method at which surfaces the um, um, heat are dissipating okay so now uh, these are the surfaces we have to select these surfaces we have to select and this one and 
it again this surface <coughs> so guys this is these are the faces i have selected so after that click apply and here film coefficient so film coefficient we have to select here we have to give the value otherwise we are, we can import the value here import time dependent and import temperature dependent so since we have applied temperature values so we have to import the temperature uh, dependent values so here standard air because it should be dissipated through the air so now we have to select here standard air and click ok so now you can see the convection value automatically the convection value it will take ok so after that click on solution and give temperature and uh, total heat flux and directional heat flux also you can add and after that click on solve <coughs> so guys here you can see the solution has completed so now you can check temperature so since we have applied 80 so it should be the maximum temperature should be shown here 80 degrees C. okay so now you can see here okay so again heat flux also you can check so heat flux also you can check here i'm zooming it so this is the ventilated disc type so actually the ventilation are made by uh, made up uh, due to heat dissipation rate okay according to heat dissipation so now directional heat flux also you can check here uh, in graph also you can see in graph now i'm showing you the graph okay these are the graphs the maximum and minimum conversion rate are showing here tabular data so in this way you can solve a steady state thermal analysis of disk break and now we have to do static and structural analysis in same tutorial so now again we need to go here and uh, a static structure you need to click and hold and drag it and mapped here on the solution so now the all the values whatever calculated previously in a steady state thermal analysis it should be mapped or carry forwarded to the static structural analysis so now again return to the solver page and here we can see now i'm minimizing it now a structural a static structural so imported load you can see here whatever it is imported means the temperature okay so now we need to add supports fixed support so i'm fixing the this for this one okay click here and click apply then again go to loads pressure <coughs> and here I'm applying internal surface pressure pressure should be 1 megapascal of entering apply and here one more thing we need to apply rotational velocity so rotational velocity should be uh, applying 50 radian per second <coughs> and here we need to give that rotational direction direction of the rotation so y direction so now in this way the disk will be rotated so now after that total deformation stress and strength now click solve
so now check total deformation so you can see here total deformations stresses and strain value so now the next step is how to find fatigue life of this disc brake click on solution and go to tools click fatigue tools now click on fatigue tool right click and insert life and also insert safety factor also you can find whatever is required damages also <coughs> So now fatigue life so there are three theory to find uh, fatigue life uh, goodman theory soderberg and gerber equation so there is uh, no need to explain all these equations and all these methods because uh, you can see the theory in uh, machine design book okay so now click on life and here Geometry selection, everything is given. Okay, safety factor. You can see geometry selection, all bodies, safety factor, whatever is required, you can find here. So, here the method is loading type is fully reversed. Okay, and analysis type is stress life and mean stress theory so here we have to select the theory in the goodman theory soderberg or garber equation according to all these uh, we can find our fatigue life and uh, safety factor so first i'm selecting goodman okay so according to goodman it will calculate your fatigue life and safety of factor so evaluate all results <coughs> So now you can see life is the maximum life of this disk according to our boundary condition loading condition the maximum life is 1 e power 8 okay this is the life cycles it will calculate it according to cycles and uh, safety factor you can check 15 is the maximum safety factor factor of safety or safety factor whatever you can say lowest this is the minimum and the maximum so according to the diagram also you can check everything damages <coughs> so now i'm changing the theory so now according to solar work also you can check So life, this is the maximum life, safety of factor, this is safety of factor and damages. So, so guys, hope you understood this video. So guys, don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to share with your friends. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, guys also you can generate your report so just click on report preview and all the report will be generated and you can make a pdf or word format so just wait so now the general report has been generated here just uh, wait so you can see here whatever the process we have done till the end okay so all the step by step procedure will be show here so now you can check here coordinate systems everything will show mesh how many numbers of node and how many number of elements have generated here you can check nodes element and mesh metric studious thermal what is the boundary conditions we have applied you can check here and a number of time step we have, we have applied five 
phi and 1 2 3 4 each second we are calculating so here geometry selections <coughs> here convection values so you can see here temperature 1 10 100 200 convection coefficient is gradually here increasing okay and after decrease then solution all the values coordinate system and global coordinate system results all the minimum and maximum according to the temperature the results are showing here minimum and maximum so after that this is the graph and uh, static extra, uh, structural in uh, static structural whatever we have applied it will show here then solution maximum stress and minimum stress deformation maximum stress minimum and the maximum uh, strain everything is here you can calculate uh, you can see the value okay these are the uh, fatigue life calculation the life cycle fully reverse life cycle we have selected so after that these are the mean stress correction theory okay so good man solder bar whatever so we have selected it as solder bar so this is the solder bar means yield strength the maximum uh, uh, breaking point should be at yield strength and for good man it is calculating on the base of ultimate tensile strength so you can see here material data everything is here okay guys thank you so much